Hi folks, in my last video tutorial you have learned how to create cylinder assemble constraint and how to specify maximum minimum value or set some friction for this constraint. And at the end you have learned how to work with snapshots. Really quickly set correct position and save snapshots. So you can check my previous video tutorials and you will understand how I create these snapshots. In this video tutorial I'd like to focus on the application animation. So what will be final result will be the will be quick example how you can create your custom animation for any assembly. So I'd like to go to application and over here you can see that it is the possible select the animation. And what we would like to do is create new animation. And this new animation will be focused and created based on the snapshot. So I'd like to reuse my snapshots. You can set name, custom name come from OK. And then you can see here that I have activated my second animation. The first one you can delete or you can duplicate it, what you want. Yeah. So right now I have activated my second animation based on the snapshot. And what does it mean? That if you create keyframe sequence, the system allows to you to use the snapshots, what I have created in base animation mode. But at the first, I like to create my or set up my timeline. So you can select here right mouse button and use the edit timeline. And over here, I like to specify, for example, that I like to create 25 picture per one second and system automatically calculate how many pictures the system will create for me. I like this rate because it's really good to store this information and video is really small one. So if I, or you can specify how many seconds you would like to use it. For example, it will be, of this video will be 15 seconds. And if I will come from OK, you can see that my timeline was changed. And right now we would like to start with setup and modification of movement of this object. So you can see here that you can create new snapshots and reuse it, or you can reuse the existing one. I'd like to start from start, continue with snapshot two, three, and end. Okay, so this will be our final animation. And we would like to set up this one. So go here and select the keyframe sequence. At the beginning, it's a start. So in the timeline, in the time zero, the position will be start. After two seconds, the system will stay here and the position will be again the start. I'd like to continue that I'd like to move the position two, and it will be in the time four. So I will continue here and how many seconds the system will move it for me. For example, I'd like to go to position three and it will be in the timeline eight seconds. Then I'd like to stay here, for example, for a couple of seconds. So the position three will be again fine and 10. And at the end, I'd like to go to the end in the time 12 plus and finish in the 15 second plus. So you can see here that I specify some timeline and if I will come from OK, I can check how it will be look. So go to in generate and the system will move, slowly move, wait and move. Yep. If you don't like some position, you can move it here. For example, that you would like to stay or move from position two to position three a little bit longer. So you can move it a little bit here and the waiting time in the position three will be a little bit slower. 
you can regenerate and the system will recalculate this animation slower moving waiting time and move you can try your custom animation you can use the right mouse button here and edit timeline or edit keyframe sequence copy rename remove and so on yeah so try to work it edit and you will see how you can reuse it at the end what is necessary to do you can select the playback you can check how it work you can animate absolutely specify real timing and if you like it you can save it and the system will allow to you to save this object for example as mpeg file you can save it like a lot of jpeg stiff or you can use the avi specify frame rate you can reuse the real-time rendering so if you would like to select real-time rendering select this one but do not forget the setup real-time scan apply some appearances and so on so set that image size for example some dimensions and the system will recalculate it i hope did you like this example how to create animation based on keyframe sequence thank you for your time vladimir bye bye